So today I'm going to be product testing a dog toy, enrichment toy that's on the market that I um, really like the idea of, um, so that you don't have to. So I'm going to be product testing the medium sized canine connectables today, okay? So it's um, the website that you can get them from is K, the letter K, the number 9, connectables.com. That's their website. Um, they probably have it on Amazon as well. They have three sizes, so they have a mini, they have a medium, and they have a large. Now, I am product testing the medium today. My dog's a Staffairy, so she's medium sized. Um, and they have, they do have a handy, um, on their website, they have a handy little graph of what dogs would be suitable for what sizes. So the medium are um, Cocker Spaniels, Australian Terrier, Beagles, Border Collies, Border Terriers, British Bulldogs, Cairn Terriers, Cavalier King Charles, Cocker Spaniel, Corgi, um, Golden Retriever, Jack Russell, Japanese Spitz, Labrador, Pomeranian, Pug, Rough Collie, Shih Tzu, Sharpe, West Highland Terrier, Whippet, those types of dogs are down on the medium section. Um, so roughly, they've done a weight, a weight scale here as well. So the mini toys are aimed at dogs under 10 kilograms. The medium are aimed at dogs between eight and 35 kilograms. And then the large toys are aimed are at dogs between 25 and 45 kilograms. So um, this is down as a light to average, so uh, a product for light to average chewers. They do say if your dog is a stronger chewer, please supervise very closely for more detailed information. Now I can um, account for that because Suki really, 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 she's tried this already, but I didn't film it, so I'm gonna film it today, but she's already. Now she's not that strong a chewer. Sometimes there are certain things that she likes to chew on but generally she's not much of a chewer. So um, because the food goes in here, I have a feeling she couldn't get to the end, so she went the quick way, although she still couldn't get tinned, but she went the quick way and started to take that off. So that might have been a bit of frustration, um, but that I was watching her, so it didn't, uh, it didn't take long to do that. So, um, so yeah, so if your dog is really chewy, then just be careful that these products might um might not be suitable if your if your dog is a big chewer okay so so yeah so i'm trying the medium one so in the medium set you get now this is on the website you get so the medium starter pack consists of one of these um one of these and one of these okay and that set on the website is twenty two ninety nine. Um, then you can get a medium puzzle pack, which is those two, and that is thirteen ninety nine. You are also able to get, which we had but we've run out of, is um, treats that are bone shaped that do go inside these things here. So when you do pack it out, you can um, stop whatever food is coming out of there with the bone things. Now, um, they are quite a tight fit, and I did find that you have to push them in really hard or they just pop out again. Um, so that's that was my experience of it. But let's try and freeze it today. So we're freezing it, okay? You can freeze it, it's absolutely fine. Um, they also suggest that you can use these in the water. So if your dog wants to go swimming, maybe instead of, um, a ball then you can throw one of these in the water I'm not sure if they float I've not tried it um, but I'm just going to use it as a food enrichment toy today okay so I'm going to stuff this with so I've got here pure peanut butter I've got coconut oil as well because Suki loves coconut oil but um, it's quite runny so I'm just going to and this is pure peanuts, so this isn't got hasn't got any any other ingredients in. 
other than peanuts. So just be careful if you do use peanut butter that the ingredients in it are safe for your dog, okay? So it's quite tricky if you don't buy the bones, it's quite tricky because some of the stuff that you put in will have to be harder because otherwise it just it just comes out sides, okay? So I also have, so let's try the coconut oil as well in one of them, so let's put that there. Let's try, so the coconut oil actually is quite, is a lot more, she's licking her lips down here. Can't have it yet, sausage. Gotta freeze it first. And then in one of these, I'm gonna pop in a blueberry. She loves the blueberries. And then in the peanut butter one, I'm gonna pop in a raspberry. It's dripping out now. And I've also got some semi-frozen banana here that I will pop in here. And again, that's gonna be frozen properly. Stuff that in there. And I'm gonna, I'll pop the raspberry in that as well. Okay. And then this last one, I'll put the rest of the banana in. Now, it's also really important to supervise your dogs with any enrichment toy, okay? Because not everything is completely indestructible. So you don't want your dogs chewing off bits and ingesting them or getting them stuck in their throat. That's not the plan here. I've also got some liver pate that you could probably stuff in. Banana and liver pate, nice. Oh my gosh, I always feel weak when I try and squeeze those. Right, so I filled my bits and bobs. Now I'm going to stuff the middle section. So I'm going to pop that on there. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to pop that in the middle. I just have to be careful because my ends might fall out. Because oh, oh, it's a bit tight. So my peanut butter's already falling out. So let's stuff that in more putting that on the end i feel really weak oh there we go there we go and then pop that in the middle bit <laughs> there oh i can't get it in <laughs> oh my god have i done it wrong no there is room there we go there we go. Whew. Right, so that is the end product. So now that is going in my freezer and I will film me giving it to Suki. Hello, I'm back. So basically it took Suki 45 minutes to finish her canine connectables and it's still in one piece while well, these two bits came out but other than that she didn't chew on it. She really enjoyed actually the coolness of it I think because it's quite hot today because I froze it remember and it took 40 so the stuff that I put in I didn't add any more stuff into it and it really wasn't that much it took her 45 minutes and she was on that for 45 minutes she didn't take a break or anything and she's um she's pretty tired now so all in all I think this product is actually pretty fabulous so just remember that it's not really made for big chewers um so dogs that kind of destruct things quite easily um, this would be great for puppies and their puppy enrichment as well. Um, I think it would be great for senior dogs as well because it's not, it doesn't move around so they can sit still and um, eat from this. And you could use this to put their normal food in as well and have some of their meal from this. Um, visually it's pleasing to the eye, to the human eye. Don't know what the dogs see from it but the texture is really nice and soft, which I think is would be great for puppies. But again, make sure that um, they don't eat bits off and digest them. I wouldn't leave it out. I would only give it to them whilst monitoring. 
Um, I think that's it. So yeah, 45 minutes that took Suki to do. So I'm really happy with that. So overall, I give this a thumbs up. Um, if you want more information, I will pop in the website for Canine Connectables in the link below. Okay, so I'll see you again next time for product testing with Emma and Suki.